Hey there, welcome back to Total Paranormal Documentary Series here. We've got uh, John Jonathan, with us. Brian. Sean. Amanda. Sean. Cody. Christian. All right, we're going to go ahead and see what we can find here at this cemetery. What do you know about this, Cody? Not too much. What do you know about the devil's chair, things like that? Yeah, if you place a beer bottle over there, a full one, and leave it until the next morning, it will be empty but never opened. But the devil's chair is actually a morning's chair for to cry over your loved ones. But I do know that some Satanists have been out here trying to conjure up demons and do stupid stuff. And all that they did was uh, channel out the activity through this cemetery close to Casadega. Is there any spirits that would like to speak with us? I don't really know the name of this device, but I'm pretty sure it'll do something. This one, if you touch it, it will go off. This device here, the ghost can speak into it. If they speak into it, it may start reading an audible sound. Okay, well, you heard what it does, so. Is there any spirits here that would like to communicate with us through the spirit box? Do you mean I am bad? Are you an evil spirit? Can any spirit communicate with us, please? So this is the death chair? One of them. How many is there here? So they're both cursed? All from the same family, Thatcher. Thatcher, do you want to speak to us? If you touch this device or speak into this device right here. Or if you touch that device. If you, if you touch this device, the light will turn off. Sounded like I heard an okay. What is your name? Do people still come here and mourn you? Do you like him? George Thatcher, are you here? Is that you, George? Arrestus, are you here? You here with us, man? Why do they call this the devil chair? Are you scared to talk to us? Can someone try using this right here? We, we can't help you unless you try to communicate with us.
Are you the husband and the father, George? Okay, well, I'm going to go over to the other grave site. That's where your daughter and your wife is buried. If you don't talk to me, I'm going to have to go talk to her. It's kind of creepy that it just shuts off like that. Okay. I'll grab this stuff. Cody just broke his rule. He just sat in the damn chair. What chair? The devil's chair. What? Yeah. He's sitting in the chair right he, now. He, he does this every single time. He tells us not to do something and then he breaks it. I'm going to join him. <laughs> Why not? Somebody's here, please make your presence known. I am sorry I'm sitting in your chair and you have been mourning for so many years. I would just like to make contact with your misery and sorrow. I give you permission to take whatever energy I have still lingering in my body so you can manifest before us. You are here with us right now. Can you move something around? Let us hear your voice. If you can, knock over the water bottle. Jonathan, why do you look so serious? What are you talking about, man? How do I look serious? I'm over here smiling. Not before. Chris. Would you like to have a seat? Doesn't hurt. It's quite relaxing in a way. What do you feel when you sit in a morning's chair? What can you sense that it's around you or in front of you? There's lots of, lots of energy. Good, bad. I 
there's somebody right there sitting right next to them. Get up and just leave. Now I'm kind of half tempted to sit in it. Yeah. No. The two people here, the way they died was from a fire. They were burned. How do you know? And that's the story yeah. of the Thatcher family. There was the mom, the wife, and the daughter. But why would someone come and put. Come that's why I find that kind of really, really weird that they would put the wax in there knowing that. These people both were burn victims. They died from a house that caught on fire. And this is why he comes and mourns. So right Still kind of half tempted. The husband that. died in that seat right there. He was, he, was, that? he would come and mourn from from sunrise to sunset every single day. Well, it was around Halloween, and the kids were, were around here. That's before they put the gate up. Wherever would come and mess with the cemetery of Oliver, and he was still staying here. Well. He passed that on Halloween day, sitting there mourning the loss of them two. And um, the, the kids thought that was a joke where this man put a skeleton or put somebody like a prop up there and they found him dead. They called the police. He died right there in that chair, mourning them. So that's probably he turned why. into a skeleton or something? And a skeleton, but that's what they thought. They thought it was like a prop oh. or something because it's like, you know, they didn't think there'd be really a person out in the graveyard at, at midnight. We should come here on Halloween then, if that's the day that he died. It's that time. That's when the dead can walk okay. the earth. Move now. So bad and like. Apparently, someone died in there. I don't, I don't know chair, what it Chris. was, but I yeah. just want. Somebody died in there. I didn't want to mess chair. with nothing bad. What's up? Can you feel anything? You ready to go, Cody? Why does that get? Why is that one? Yeah, it's on the He's the birthday boy. Why is that one good at all? Is that another chair? I mean, if Cody's ready to go, I'm go ready to go. Cause it's like one. It's gonna take about an hour to get back. You okay, Cody? Yeah. That way I can get my shower and everything too. But I want to make sure he's okay first. Then I look like dead right now, don't I? Yeah. You just don't look like I have an ice cold bottle of water for you. Right why is that why is that double check get it off? I just know I'd like to get something to eat. Is there anywhere it's close by? Hmm? Is there anywhere it's close by we can go? There's a hotel. They serve food there food. though? Yeah. Okay. Is that where you want to go, Cody? Chris, what are you doing? Well, I ain't got money, but I'll go sit with you guys and buy me a drink. I got five bucks. Well, they I got use a drink. They got draft. You're talking about soda. Oh. I know of that. Right, I'll take whatever. Alrighty, guys. Looks like that's going to wrap it up. Um, you know, we, we had we tried to communicate here with some of the spirits here. They did not um, want to speak. They didn't really want to speak too no. much here. They, um, I think they were saying something earlier through your spirit box on your phone. Yeah. But it was just too hard one. to hear it. But yeah, this is the Castega 
a cemetery. I feel like someone came through here with a bat and was just bashing the headstone. Oh, is Chris okay? Yeah, Chris, he's coming. come on. Go Alright guys, until next time, thanks for watching Total Pinnable Documentary Series. Peace. Like, subscribe, share. Tell us what you want to see next.